Greetings and salutations and welcome once again to the Capeless Crusaders live <gasps> at the time from Empire's <laughs> Comics Vault. Yeah! Yay! There's people back there, we swear. Yeah, I, yeah. maybe. My name is David Barry at DR Barry on varying social media platforms. If you're watching, it says it right there. If you're on YouTube, it says it right there. If you're listening to the audio, take my word for it. To my right, I have. Battling a vicious virus from the Isle of Aller Alger <laughs> Allergies. This is the Azorian one, Anthony C. What did I say about not streaming the podcast while we're on the podcast? I'm sorry. I'm going to lob it over to those mysterious sounds to my left. Yeah, who's that? Hi. <laughs> I'm Amy. You can find me at IJ New Robot on Brain Social Media. I also have a tendency, apparently, to not turn down my volume before I open applications. So well, I thought you were going to say your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're dead to me. Oh, I mean, we're all the exact same. I know. Um, Anywho, but what what else are you? Videos. What what else? Oh, what is? I don't I don't know. I mean, oh. I'm, I'm kind of tired. Oh, I, see. I, I got this thing oh, I see. like the last time doing, yeah. we did this this live. Um, it's still kind of shiny. I think it's a little bit dusty, but you know. Mm -hmm. I just, I left it there. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Is it? Yeah. You're the champion. You are the, 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 no respect for the belt. Right. I think she should have to defend this tonight. Ha ah, ha, interesting. I'm making a match. Rematch that clause. It wasn't already predetermined by the show notes. Not at all. It doesn't help that I also, you know, gave you cards for Christmas. So he would have a better chance. Yeah, so we actually have more content besides the same questions I keep asking. As always, Rematch you can find anything related to the Capeless Crusaders at thecapelesscrusaders.com, which is up here, again, if you're on the Twitch or the YouTube or if you're in the audio, it Cape CaplessCrusaders.com. We are also on Patreon. Oh, ah, yeah, Patreon.com Patreon. slash The Capeless Crusaders. So if you like us, for as little as $2 a month, you okay. can help this poor boy. Um, Buy some more mugs. Say that. Who so can stay with a rogue? Anyway, um, for $2 a month, you can totally support us doing this, buying more equipment, going to more cons, yeah. doing all those things, basically not having to pay for it like real adults. Oh, that's that's the point, right? You're really good at that. I appreciate that. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of I'm sorry. our website <laughs> and our Twitch, they are brought to you in part by Computer Booter, which Ooh, is also okay. uh, oh, right up here. If, yeah, I put all the logos over here. Today it's me. Uh, Computer Booter, your local uh, mobile device computer repair shop, retro game store, and retro game lounge, Ooh. which they do now have PlayStation VR. Wow. Um, you can go in there and play. I believe it's $5 an hour, $10 for three hours. And if you go and you mention the Capeless Crusaders, you get 10% off the purchase. Oh. They also have this Smash Brothers funny. on Friday nights, which might change now that they've announced uh, Super Smash Brothers oh. for the Switch. Ooh. We're relevant. Anyway, VR. On this episode. Hey. VR, like the Oasis. Yes. Good one. Yeah. You're so cute. Uh, on this week's episode, we're of course going to go around the horn. We're going to talk about some news, a lot of it. And then we will have for the Capeless Crusaders Trivia Aww. Federation World Heavyweight Championship, the Wait, rematch. The heavyweight? Oh, it's, it's, it, that's the highest level of championships. It's, 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 I thought you were just calling me fat. Well, no, oh, no, it's the high. It's a, it's a compliment in the fighting not, world. But it actually, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting that in professional wrestling, uh, women don't they don't have weight classes, yeah. right? And that's so I don't think. Kick -ass? I think it's because. The uh, yeah. the the higher ups and in professional wrestling are like oh no women don't want to talk about their weight and it's like no they'd totally be fine with it it just so happens that the the heavyweight division in professional wrestling for women is a lot smaller not physically smaller but there's just less it's true um, and the more you know but then there's like Nia Jax and she I got not she'd be the only champion uh, yeah we're gonna have trivia I like her this that's that's where this was going um, so when we're in a comic book store. <gasps> this is one, yes. When we're surrounded by comic books, that happens to be quite. A I'm few. going really slow so I can cue up the sounds. I'm noticing push all the comics he doesn't like our sounds. When we are in a comic book store, we, are, we like to go yes. round the horn. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, why are you yelling? yelling that way. Directions. Those are Steve's boys. are at it again. Yep. When we go around the horn, we go around the table in a circular fashion, except for the fact that we no longer have a circular table. We've never, I don't, I don't think we ever actually had a circular table. I think we had a small square table mm -hmm. that we sat around. Yeah. I do not believe we've ever had a round edged table. No. I think it's lies. Not anyway, we go around the table. We talk about what comic books we've been reading this yes. week. So with Steve's. Yes. 
Start us out. What have you been reading, my friend? Well, I am still in the Jonathan Hickman event, Infinity. Ooh. I'm issue two. I'm enjoying it quite is that, much. Is that what the movie is supposed to be based on? They yeah. say, so in the Marvel Unlimited app, it mm-hmm. says, read the series that inspires events mm-hmm. in the motion picture. I'm yeah. down with that. So yeah, there are elements, I guess, from Jonathan Hickman's story that will be used in Avengers Infinity War. It was really well done. So I am reading that before the movie comes out, and I am enjoying it. Proud of you. Yeah, thank you. It's the Hickman. I saw the name. I'm like, hey, we've the Hickman. That guy. We have met that guy. The Hickman. He's he's my boy. Yeah. Amelia. Hey. Uh, hey. What have you been reading this week? You just showed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> She's done. <laughs> what have you been reading? Uh, <laughs> ten minutes ago. <laughs> it was good though, actually. So, oh, this is the story. Oh God, <laughs> cover that up. TOS. <laughs> TOS. He <laughs> made them hey, scream. Guys, it's the swear copy. Yeah. We have a blur bubble. There's gonna be a blur bubble. <laughs> Your children might be watching this. They yeah, are. actually, they probably, probably are. are. <laughs> hey, look what that comic said. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, I read I Hate Fairyland, <laughs> number 17. That's how you spell it. Yeah. Um, it's good. We are in the second issue, technically, of the new arc after Gertie has returned from hell. Because uh, she died. H-E double hockey sticks. It was hell. H-E double hockey Also, sticks. apparently, Satan likes to be called Bill. Well, he yeah. drops things off at the post office. That makes sense. Any who's okay. If you like Scotty Young, because he's about to be on a whole bunch of books. Yeah, he is. You should totally read I Hate Rayland. Or get the expletive version and then collect all of those like I do, so you have a clean version and a dirty version, and then you can sell them on the internet. Who's gonna, who, to see who buys which one first. <laughs> who doesn't buy dirty versions on the internet? Woo! Why buy? You look for, for Never mind. Uh, anyway. Um, Snaps all day. I've read some comics. Apparently more than one. Uh, more, more like 17. Here they are. Ready? Uh, <laughs> so the 17 comics that I read. Wow. One was the Dark Knight's Medal, The Wild Hunt. Uh, yes, which was Snyder, uh, Tinian, James, James Tinian, the James. fifth, teenth, fourteenth, however many he is. I think he's the fourth. Is that a hunting book? Oh, the fifth. Yes. There were camel? Uh, yes, there were lots of camel. And Grant Morrison was also involved on the oh, project. So the nice. Wild Hunt was a one-shot tie-in to the Dark Knight's Metal uh, that, for me, saved the series. Because, what? Uh, yeah, I was kind of getting over. I love Scott. But. I love Greg. Uh, but Dark Knight's Metal was kind of disjointed. It was kind of all over the place. It was like, hey, here, now Batman's old and scrawny. And hey, here's this. And did you read the Justice League tie-in? Because you didn't read the Justice League tie-in. You're not going to know why the Joker is a dragon. And it just Joker's it, a dragon. There, there's two Joker dragons. Still don't really know why they're here. <laughs> dragon. Yeah, they're just you're flying not, around breathing fire. It's either. really it's 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 okay. It's 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 cool. It's a really cool event. It felt like it needed to be stretched out more. Um, but because they kept like taking pauses and like it'd be off for a month, it just felt really disjointed. Like then us. the Wild Hunt. Yes. Then the Wild Hunt came out, which was this kind of tie-in that kind of brought a lot of it together. Uh, it followed the last team of superheroes that have not yet been captured: Cyborg, Flash. Can't remember who the third was. Barry um, Allen Flash. Yes, Barry Allen Flash. Um, and they were uh, fleeing the Dark Knights, um, who were on the Wild Hunt. The Wild Hunt is, of course, uh, a story from mythology. They were the camera. Um, Wait, the Wild no, Hunt it's a is the Artemis poem. Wild Hunt? We're talking about the guy that gets turned into the deer and that gets hunted down by Artemis? Is that the Wild Hunt? No. No, not no, that one. The no, other? I'm thinking of the... Um, Outdoor Channel. Oh, the, okay. The what? Got me a deer. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not that one. Um, I was like, but it's also, the, it's also the, the Norse mythology. There's also a wild hunt. There's also a Hellboy wild hunt, which is actually going to be the focus of the, the movie. Oh. Back to the point. <laughs> it was a good thing that brought him together. A uh, detective chimp was the main character. Oh, shoot. detective chimp. Yeah, he's a chimp who is also a detective. Does he know about News Monkey? Oh, ah, him and News Monkey are actually really good friends because it turns out there is not only there's not 52 universes in the DC multiverse. What? 53. There's 53. Oh my god! And one of them is full of chimps. <laughs> I want to go to 53. It's a bunch of monkeys and apes. <laughs> I'm really excited for it. You. It's just like <laughs> heavy, it's just like heavy metal. You like it. like the the Joker is Batman, and there's a Flash Batman, and there's all these evil Batman, and then all of a sudden it's just like, hey, Superman's a gorilla. Uh, Batman is a uh, chimpanzee there's a really flat fast flash monkey <laughs> flash monkey <laughs> for some reason that's what, did, monkey that's monkey. what brought it all together for me uh dogs and cats living together yeah, in that exactly. area exactly ghosts and goblins <laughs> um so yeah it, it, it was actually really i really enjoyed it. i love that they introduced this they also 
introduce one of my favorite characters into the detective chimp mythos. Uh-uh. Lieutenant. A phrase I never <laughs> thought Lieutenant I'd Ape. say. Yeah. Um, because uh, in the classic story where uh, Detective Chimp finds the Fountain of Youth, and that's actually where he becomes immortal and, and gains uh, intelligence, he's led there by Rex the Wonder Dog. <gasps> On their way, they're uh, going through a swamp. And, oh. Oh. And I know. An, it's alligator, an alligator tries yep. to stop Detective Chimp, and none other than... Hal Jordan. No? Wonder Woman. Not Hal Jordan. He wouldn't be Bizarre. in a swamp. He was, cl- he was closer with the green. He wouldn't be in a swamp. Oh, it's swamp not thing. Oh. Swamp thing. That in the swamp. Uh, he dude. actually he yeah, it might do. He he grabs the alligator and he says, just simply let him pass. And Detective Chimp is able to go on to the Fountain of Youth. Nice. And it's because Detective Chimp is a big part of Dark Knight's Metal, apparently. <laughs> which I'm down with. The other thing that I read with well, the other 16 were uh the Thanos. Thanos one through sixteen. All the Thanos. Yes, the Thanos, but the Thanos. Uh which but followed him um losing his power, almost universe. dying, coming back up. He pretty cancerous. Um, but the latest arc is Thanos wins, where uh, old Thanos brings young Thanos to the future, where he has killed basically everyone. It's awesome. It's mm. so over the top mm. and ridiculous. Mm. There, mm. there is a old Flash new version. So you want to there is a Ghost Rider who is also a Herald of Galactus, who is also Frank Castle. I'm now yeah, yeah yeah wrap your brain around somebody that cosplayed the that Punisher with Spirit of wait. Vengeance Herald of Galactus one. Nicholas Cage go. the Punisher wait. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So it's Dolph Lundgren and <laughs> you and Dolph Lundgren, Dolph, Dolph Lundgren. Berthold. Because you said Nicholas Cage, yeah, I figured we're, we're going for good bad call. actors. Good call, good call. Love you, Dolph. Good call. Um, so Dolph Lundgren, Lundgren and uh, if he dies, he dies. And Nicholas Cage uh, mixed with mixed with the guy. Uh, oh, the guy who uh, he does all the motion capture, the famous motion capture guy who's the Silver Andy? the Silver Surfer, oh. not Andy, the other one, uh, Ray Park. Uh, yeah, no, that's right. No, the that's, guy, that's the Doug. No, no, I already not, said Andy. Doug said Jones. Doug. Thank yeah. you. Yes, the guy who was Ape Sapien and uh, and all those other ones. Except and he wasn't the voice of Ape Sapien. Yeah, he was he was Ape Sapien in that movie too. Uh, except he what? slept with someone anyway. Ooh. He got freaky. In all right, there we go. Those are what I've read. All Lights. the eggs. Lights. No. Nope. So. All right. What? Uh-oh. Anyway, I'm sleeping. So. What? Speaking of uh, news. Oh. Yeah, speaking of chimps, because I didn't say anything. Um, I'm canvassing that to you so hard. <laughs> I didn't bring him. Did you guys bring him? Who? What? what? The news Did you? The, he was supposed to be viewed. He was supposed to be. He's sitting at a bus stop somewhere, smoking cigarettes angrily. Whoops. Who am I referring to? Whoopsie doozle. Then, of course, the news monkey, because we got some news and... Oh, and it looks clear on uh, Southbound. Oh. Breaking news this hour, except none of this is breaking because we talked about it for the past couple of days. News! I'm now picturing News Monkey waiting, actually. He's just sitting at the top. He's just sitting there. He's a, he's a trench coat thrown over his shoulders. Long day, long day. <laughs> um, I weep for him internally, not externally. Weep. So there's a lot of news this week so in comic news. books. There's a ton of news, one of which mm-hmm. is a big rumor going around oh, gosh, not that we that may have. Dun, no. Dun, no. Dun, no. Our no. Hal Jordan. No. Dun, 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 we may dun. have our Green no. Lantern. Dun, no. dun, 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 dun. No. Might be Tom Cruise. Dun, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Now, to be fair, there is no actual proof There's that this no, is happening yeah, except yeah. for the fact that the Mission Impossible director is directing. Has, yeah. yeah, has and been tapped somebody for that made Green that Lantern. really adorable picture. Hey, wait a minute. If it's a director of Mission Impossible doing it, they got to get old Tommy Cruise, right? Exactly, because if they brought in like Burton, it would have been Johnny Depp. Johnny because Depp. these guys only work with one actor that's forever. It. That's, that's you're, you're tied. That's their. That's their. Uh, what's what's it when you have a, a familiar? That's their familiar. Buddies for life. Yeah. Um, no, but Tom Cruise is apparently everyone. And then a bunch of people are making the case for it, like why this could really work. And I'm just like, no, no. no Tom Cruise can do one thing for the rest of his Mission life, and that's Mission, Mission Impossible. Impossible. That's it. And even or, that, or or and I put out the fat guy from Tropic Thunder. Yes, there is that. Well, was that good, was also rather. the other he's, thing that he's allowed. Supposedly, it wasn't until now that we realize he's actually mocking Harvey Weinstein. Is what the belief is that they didn't say that back then. Because they didn't want it to was, say who it was. Yeah, it was entertaining enough. But supposedly it was Harvey Weinstein that he's mocking in Tropic Thunder. The more you know. Interesting. Yeah. I so, like him more now. <laughs> a, little, a little. Not much, though. A little. Because he's not much better as Rex a person. Grossman. Uh, he can't be any more bartenders. You can watch old Tom Cruise. Cruise. Vintage Tom Cruise, Cruise is fine. Yeah, I watch Braveheart, even though Mel Gibson is slime. It's Braveheart. I mean, come on. With Mel, with the, but with the letters in Mel Gibson, you can actually smell. You can spell slime. You, you can, can smell You can also slime. spell bog. Mm, yeah, bog. bog slime. New yeah, name. that's what I think about you, Mel Gibson. Wow, bog slime. I was just bringing up 
cocktail. Anyway, Green Lantern, Tom Cruise, terrible idea. Don't think it's happening. Not gonna happen. Don't think it's happening. I don't also I also don't even want Hal Jordan. I would much rather have a Kyle Rayner or Kyle. John Stewart. Yes. Um, Ooh, Travante there is Rose. The vision, there's the vision in the audience when you did that. Did what? Mm. What, what happened? John Stewart? John Stewart? John Stewart. Oh, oh, and, and okay. okay. You want Hal Jordan? John. Okay. Hell John. Any okay. Kyle Rayner? Kyle Rayner? Kyle Rayner? There we go. Rayner. Any Guy Gardner? Guy Gardner. <laughs> Guy Gardner? <laughs> Guy Gardner. Simon Bass. Simon Bass. I Simon want Bass? Simon Bass. I want Simon Bass. Okay, so we've got some Simon Jessica Bass. Cruz. Jessica Cruz. Jessica Cruz. Yes, Jessica Cruz. Jessica Cruz. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the giant this? planet? Who's the Green Lantern? Uh, Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. <laughs> Bill Pax, if Bill Paxton come back if from Bill the dead Paxton and be a Green Lantern. Oh, see, I would love that. I would be so down with that. Bill anyway, Paxton. so we don't want Tom Cruise change. to be that. Speaking just of Mission Impossible. Speaking of directors, I though. <gasps> directors we like. Directors we like. I just did that. Sorry for the microphone. God. Tom, sorry for me. <laughs> I got excited. Oh, you just can't this is the one it. good side. Sorry, the baby has ruined this side. I'm so happy about this guy because I like this guy as if we were buddies. So You're for, so happy? I'm so money. You don't even know it. There is a uh, there's a possibly a new streaming service coming out, courtesy of Disney, yeah. uh, which courtesy of the mouse, oh, oh, another oh, oh. eight dollars a month that we have to put to something. Gotcha However, 15. this oh. could do a pretty good job. Uh, none other than your boy, for so money, Vegas baby, Vegas. John Favreau uh, is producing and writing a Star Wars live action series. Johnny Fav, Johnny Fav. Um, Maybe not a good move to announce that he's doing this on International Women's Day, but you know yeah, I don't run the Twitter for Star Wars. Timing on that. Um, timing. But John Favreau is awesome, and uh, hopefully opens up a lot of opportunities for a lot of other writers and directors and actors. That's what uh, I see. Could involved. be for a lot of female writers. Inclusion writer is the new term. Look that up if you're uh, if you're interested. Hashtag I, inclusion writer. I see Johnny Favreau. I call him Johnny. Uh, producing and like writing the pilot. And then, like, overseeing the other episodes written by groups of other people. That's what I see happening. Okay. I see him setting up the pilot, being producer, and then saying, you guys take in the pilot and You see him nurturing all the younglings. Yes, exactly. Because he's Johnny Fav. Come on. He started the, the, His movie was the first of the Marvel Universe, cinematic universe. And it's true. His was great. It's the same. I, 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 I am all for Johnny Favreau producing. And writing the pilot of the Star Wars You're series. All for Johnny Favreau. I am completely biased because I'm the guy who, if I see a trailer that has John Favreau and Vince Vaughn just bickering back and forth, I'm going to go watch that movie. What it it could be a horrible movie. I'm going to go watch that movie is, because I like watching them bicker. Chef was great. Um, chef was great. Has, there, has there been any announcement as to what is, is it just he's going to do a show? Do we know what the topic is going to be at all? No idea. They haven't said anything yet. It's just that he's going to be the producer of it. I'm the one who's saying he writes the pilot and then other writers do the rest. But for sure, we know he's producing, which, again, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm biased, but Couples Retreat, I watch it when it's on. I just okay. do. Speaking of uh, Star Wars being owned by Disney, the, other thing, the other thing owned by Disney is Marvel. Is it? Yeah. I had no idea. Comic books. Um, Disney. Ching. Exactly. One arm bad. bad the, 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 one take two. One arm bandit problems. indeed. There it is. Uh, so the other thing happening at Marvel is a <coughs> soft relaunch of their comic line. Amy doesn't like this idea. Um, just after the legacy renumbering where we go back to like Thor 700 something and Spider-Man 1095. That's a lot of issues. Uh, it appears Marvel's going to be going back to going back to some number ones, but maybe also some dual numbering, which might be like, this is issue one and issue 396. Not to you. Not to say it's the same completely, but was this like maybe their sort of version of, say, Rebirth or New 52? Rebirth was at least polite and told you what they were doing. But is that kind of what they're doing? Not, not really, because the universe itself isn't actually resetting. It's, okay. just, it's just a lot of the, the books themselves are going, like, changing their numbering. Uh, gotcha. Because okay. they're some different teams. That, some characters are coming back. But the universe itself is not actually resetting the gotcha. way New 52 and Rebirth did. Okay. Um, it does bring a lot of interesting new uh, creative teams into the fold. Um, yeah, you keep, keep complaining, but Scotty Young is going to be doing Deadpool, which is pretty sweet. Ooh. Jeff Lemire he's or Lemire. It. He's not even drawing it. Exactly. I'm okay with that. Um, Jeff Lemire is actually going to be doing Sentry, which is a huge, that's, the, you want to talk about Superman with multiple personalities, that's Sentry. Uh, so there's a lot of cool opportunities to come out of it. The other thing that's also happening, though, is a lot of classic characters are coming back, mainly Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, and Thor. Okay. Which... I mean, it's you didn't see it coming that eventually they were all going to be back there. Do they don't stay workout? dead forever. No, I no more workout. I want workout. I'm down with workout, but there's not at this point. There is not any more workout. We're still keeping Riri though, too, right? Yes. Yeah, so yes. Riri's still there. Right, uh, Jane Foster is probably going to die because she's had cancer this entire time. She just keeps going. Yeah, she just keeps going. Uh, and then um, Sam Wilson has already gone back to being uh, Falcon, which. 
that that one I was really upset by because I really like Sam Wilson as Captain America. Mm-hmm. However, if you read the uh, uh, Marvel Legacy um, uh, Generations, um, Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson, where they show uh, him going back in time and hanging out with Steve Rogers when he was young, it's a really good way of wrapping up and explaining why he wants to give the mantle back to Steve Rogers. I highly okay. suggest it. Okay. Um, in the vein of the Marvel and the Avengers. Willem Devane? Not that Willem Devane, sorry. Yeah, Willem Devane's more of a TV actor. He no, was the president in Dark Knight Rises. It felt really, really flat. I'm just... For those of you watching at home. So we have a bunch of covers from Entertainment Weekly. They're really nice. Oh, uh, yes. Some of yes. Them. Showing all of the characters that are going to be involved in Avengers Infinity War. 15 covers. Yes. 16. 20, 20, 22,000 characters. 22 characters. Um, the big one, one the big one, in my opinion, that Six is things. extremely important is the Iron Man cover. With the things. Yeah, with the things. Mainly that is the bleeding edge armor. Okay. Yeah, read the comments. So in other words, I think they need, if they haven't seen it, because your audience is very just... Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Do you want to see Barry reenact what the armor looks like? Because it would entertain me. Yes. Really, really much. How am I, how am I supposed to reenact armor? the... Exactly. I, don't, I don't know how many arms you need. So like that, and then... Yeah, me, or are they out like this? They're like, they're like, they're like, they're they're like out like that, and then Amy, two below that you can't see. No, no the goatee. Uh, the goatee. And then... The goatee. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... <laughs> The bleeding edge armor uh, from the comics was after the uh, the extremists, where basically um, Tony has a bunch of like nanites on his skin, so he can just will the suit to come on yeah, to him. Right. Yeah, he's the Iron Man three we saw kind of with the things in his forearm inside the forearm. Uh, so yeah, so he's gonna have it's it's gonna be very similar to that. Um, the, but the bleeding edge armor was much more like immediate, coming from his mind. Lots more things and guns and snazziness. It looks really good. I'm really excited for it. Uh, the other thing that was apparently announced from Avengers: Infinity War, which duh. Uh, everyone, everyone thought it was breaking news that the Winter Soldier has a new code name. The, oh, white, yeah. the white, the White Wolf. Wolf. Which, if you watch the end of Black Panther, that's not really a breaking news. Yeah, it you, is if you're not. The- <laughs> if you didn't stick around until the end of the the movie, you, which, get, you get the Idris Elba gif. Which, yeah, it's been a, it's been a decade of these movies. If you're not sticking around to the end, you're an idiot. Um, but at the end, we did see that uh, Bucky is now uh, he's referred to as the uh, by the Wakandans as White Wolf. There you go. There is a, 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 a quick clip there for our audience here. Yeah, I'm sure it's really high quality. Really high quality in the camera. Uh, if you're listening to the audio, here, uh, yeah, here. here, it's there. It is. There, you, you hear that? You hear that? Okay. Yeah, just connect with the sound. <laughs> I guess. Be one with the sound. Um, oh, did you I see. notice? We also have that thing in chat right there. The person in chat mentioned coming out of Marvel. Oh, the Mission Breakout series. <laughs> they make it weird. Squirrel Girl. <laughs> so if you guys player. didn't know, I can do this before we I segue into the <coughs> stuff. Uh, Marvel decided that they are going to push out a new cartoon, and it is focused solely on Mission Breakout, the ride. So they're transitioning the ride into TV, I guess, to get better what continuity between the parks. But i.e., the very small person in chat. Hi, I see you. <laughs> I'm reading your comments. Does not like the way Groot looks. So. I have yet to see. So the, so the ride, the Guardians ride, Mission Breakout, is being turned into a cartoon. Cartoon. Oh, okay. On yeah. Disney XD. Yeah. Go watch it with Ooh, Go watch it. They will watch it Sunday mornings while I'm doing my show. But you know, while there, I haven't seen the photos of that. Do you know what photos I have seen, Barry? What photos have you seen? You see the way she hijacked this. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's I'm a, keeping it moving. And you know what? Yeah, you know what? Commentator. And you know what? I'm impressed. Yeah, that was good. I'm impressed by the Sigu. The way she did that. That was that's talent. Bring it around town. That's experience. Apparently, they didn't see any photos. We did see photos. We saw photos of a one. Uh, Iron Man. Not those photos. Okay. Chuck. One Zachary Levi, aka Chuck. Chuck. Oh. As Shazam. That's right. Yeah. Someone's very angry on that side of the table. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm going to say I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. No, 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 no. no I know. I know. I'm saying. I'm saying. I, I know you're going over my head. You just did it with the segment. I'm going to keep going over your head. When, when was he? When was he announced as uh, Shazam? I don't know, but he had plenty of time to buy a lot of Tijuana and steroids. Yeah, just and saying. bulk up. Tijuana. But instead, he just got toned, yeah. and they put foam on his arms. He's so foamy. His and you can honestly, totally make this. His his arms. No, dude, Cavill was legitimately Cavill went to the gym. But if you look at the suit... They doubled up, they doubled yeah. up the suit. Zach, least, Zach ain't Cavill. Zach is lacking on the on what, on what the Cavill they did. Up Zach, because Zach obviously is not Levi. It's not Cavill. Zach is not Levi. been Cavill-like if you're going to be freaking Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the problem I'm having is... This is my main thing, the way it stuck out. 
is Me where on me. Zach's neck, on the chest, yeah. about to get yes. you can tell that this it's fitness it's this. doesn't match the fitness I'm, he's got. No, 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 it's just this. I'm more upset by the it's fact cool. that his hair is literally like they took a Sharpie and they yes. highlighted yes. his lines yes. and just like gelled it back. And Ooh. hey, Siri. Um, <laughs> part of me is hoping. Oh, wait, wait. There's fight. Oh. Is there a microphone out I, there? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. There, you can't talk. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying that we're talking about DC and Marvel. Marvel does the correct thing and makes Chris Evans look like Captain America outside of DC. We have DC making, adding stuff. To Warner him. Brothers could have bought him steroids from Tio Hanna. Warner it's, Brothers is listen, also appeasing the Hugh mighty Hugh Jackman uh, went to Dwayne Johnson and was like, hey, I got to get ripped for Wolverine. Dwayne Johnson said, hey, do this. What happened to Hugh Jackman? Jackman is what he became. Yeah. Okay. Is that Jackman? Speaking of DC, <gasps> officially announced kind of by Patty weird. Jenkins this, oh, yes, this right. morning. Also, I know, have on know somebody knows where she lives. That's creepy. That's Tell me later. I got you. You guys are. Stop. I have scripts. You guys are bizarre. <laughs> anyway, Patty in. Jenkins announced that Kristen Wiig is officially going to be Cheetah <laughs> in <laughs> Wonder right. Woman right. 2. Let's go. Now, for those of you, you who think, you're, right, who go you, right you and to I are kind of excited about this, Kristen Wiig with, you know, uh, Saturday Night Live <laughs> and, uh, and Bridesmaids, remember. Saw Zoolander 2? She was in The Martian, which was not a uproarious comedy. It had funny lines, but her character. Was not comedic. It was more of a subdued character. She was also take in that Whip into it. consideration. She was also in Whip It. Correct. I know. She was also I'm just in saying Zoolander that women can this. do the more. Or maybe a she's lot. a funny bad guy. Whatever. Tell me, I'm poor. <laughs> that's that's what I'm picturing. That. I'm picturing just with spots, <laughs> with glasses. Wonder Woman, help me, I'm poor. Apparently, like, you didn't read the last. You know. <laughs> anyway, no, because I don't read DC. It's not true. It's not true. Does read it's not a thing. <laughs> but I did. Did you read. read? Was it Young Monsters in Love that special? No, the Swamp, the swamp Thing one. No, <laughs> uh, I got something. Wait, no, is that the 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 one where he steals the Bride of Frankenstein? The young animals. Mm -mm. It was a special. It's a one shot. It's an eight. Saying Robin one Williams, a Goodwill Hunting, Oscar. Uh, Just saying. Touche. So, uh, <laughs> what does the what's the next one under there? <laughs> I. Good, friend. <laughs> Just, Good morning, man. No. Circus monkeys. <laughs> Somebody forgot the news monkey. Someone Ocean's Eleven reference was yeah, nice. There, you go. there, there you go. it is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, circus animals. Other news from DC. Uh, get, they just have a lot of news recently. <laughs> they came to get down. They announced uh, the other day that there's a new imprint at DC Comics. Now, a couple of they're them. doing a lot of imprints, and it's kind of making me worry that they're they're basically trying to divvy up their kingdom like image. Excuse me, image style from the 90s, and I'm not sure how that's going to go. But DC announced a new imprint called Black Label, which has no Johnny black Walker. creators. Don't worry. Johnny and Walker. no black characters. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, Why shouldn't we be? Because I'm, I was really hoping that when they announced that, it was going to be the, uh, um, oh, I just forgot, the, the, the what, Static Shock, the imprint that did Static Shock that was purchased by DC. Oh. Um, uh, uh, hang on, yeah, hang on. We're going to do Googling. some Googling. We're doing some research. But basically, Black Label is. Screen. Adult, mature versions. Yeah. Uh, light yeah. takes on characters. We're getting a new Batman story we're from the like Snyder and Capulo. We're getting a uh, Wonder Woman from Phil Jimenez and Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, yes. We're also getting a Superman Year One from uh, Frank Miller. Yes, Milestone Media. When they announced Black Label, because DC had recently talked about um, bringing back Milestone Media. Milestone was created um, by all black creators in the 90s. They introduced a lot of uh, great black characters. And I thought that meant they were going to bring this back. Apparently, we were wrong. But, you know, whatever, DC. Um, but I mean, it's still, I'm still excited for the imprint because they have a lot of interesting possibilities as far as these characters go. Um, Thoughts? And also, it's adult. Yeah. It's adult. Yes, yeah. they also have their they have their their young like not young animals, but their young adults imprint that they're they're coming out with. They have Brian Michael Bendis's imprint. They have Neil Gaiman's Sandman imprint. Come on, Jesus! And now they have the Black Label. Yeah, I'm so, just excited for Chris Conic. I, I, I want to see what she does. Kelly Sue DeConnick with Wonder Woman is going to be fantastic. I'm really excited for Snyder because Snyder mentioned a couple of maybe a year ago he wants to do one more Batman story. Um, is that the everyone, one where he sent us the, t the tweet about it? Yeah, where Batman is going to be uh, 
in the future. He's, he's, he's yeah. going to be younger. Yeah, friend of the show, Scott Snyder, follows us on Twitter. Uh, he's going to be Batman's going to be young. Um, he's not going to know where he is, and he's going to have the Joker's head, hmm. decapitated head, yes. chained to his belt, and the Joker. But the Joker's still going to be talking to him. Yeah, I'm and then he's and everyone's like, what? Yeah, it's. It's, I'm, I'm excited. Join us for yes, Miles. DC. Yes, all the all the head scratchers yeah, that you can get in. Yeah, get it. black label. Get it, get it. You're all adult comics. No, don't do it like that. That's no. creepy. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, That's that was it. weird. Um, DC. Black getting label. away from that wasn't even like seductive. It was just DC. Oh. <laughs> Only two more stories, guys. Like, Let's hey! keep DC. going. DC. Oh, black oh, label oh. comics. Oh God. There you go. Uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> black label. <laughs> It's in my goatee. Yeah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> okay. In other news, it's not black labels. no, there's no black labels. Um, unless you're thinking black label society, then that goes back to Greg Capulo, so that doesn't really take us anywhere. Vin okay. Diesel. Oh, uh, why, why don't we talk about Groot? Ready Player One. Um, Iron Giant. Yeah, he's the Iron Giant. I don't think he's the Iron Giant in Ready Player yes, One, he though. He is. Yep. Well, that's just spitting on that movie more and more. Um, he was in he was in Saving Private Ryan. That's he he owns He was, he was in Pitch Black. Yes, uh, Ooh, he was in right. Chronicles of Riddick. Which is yes. part of that. Uh, he did uh, Boiler Room. Triple X. Yeah. Boiler Room. I don't know why we're still listening. The Pacifier. List, uh, listening to Vin Diesel. Well, the, that, witch, that witch hunter movie he did was actually pretty cool. Fast and um, Furious one, two, no one three mm. at the end, and then four on to eight. D and Diesel, mm -hmm. which is him playing Dungeons and Dragons, which is really fun. I don't know what any of this has to do with the fact the that he's cast as. I brought up the Pacifier. Bloodshot. Bloodshot oh, from shoot. Valiant Comics. Uh, of course, the character with the the red circle on his chest and the gray skin. Yes, the one that is also being played by Jason David Frank, basically at the same exact time, who is <laughs> yep. the Green Ranger. Um, so Jason go, David go, Frank Rangers. is playing Bloodshot uh, in Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe, which uh, stars the guy who is Deadshot, not in Suicide Squad, but in the Suicide Squad on Arrow. Oh, this is my my head's trying to go. Either all. way, Vin Diesel, good for Vin you, Diesel's buddy. Vin Diesel is going to be Bloodshot in the in a series produced by Sony. I'm um, not sure if it's going to be movie or television yet, but he's been cast. Though. If you care, I'm starting to get the I point. I just where wanted I, you to talk about Ready Player One's again. Well, we're not going to. Yeah, I have, yeah. I have like because when the movie comes out, we're going to do an episode about it. <gasps> we are. Yeah, it's got a lot of comic book stuff in it. I'm going to LA for the May, so I won't be. Oh no. Oh good. So the movie you're all excited about, you're pumping us up for. You're not, this is just I'm like I'm going to go down for the preview and that'll be back. This there. is like when Curtis was just like, oh guys, yeah, I can't come on talk about that. He's like Curtis, <laughs> we need you here. It it's your guy. I know. It's, it's your dude. He has watched it eight times. He's watched it eight times. He's, we're he not has joking. a goal of like ten or something. He's super he's impressive. Just, he is T'Challa. Right God, now. he's good. Um, last okay. bit of news. Um, so we are going to Silicon Valley Comic Con in April. Um, a couple – they've added some celebrities like Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, they've also lost a couple people like Jeff Goldblum. Um, one of the – They oh, maintain Stan. They maintain Stan. Yeah, all sorry, your happy vibes. But found a way. They do. Uh, they did also lose Vernon Wells. But Vernon Wells, oh. is an Australian actor, not necessarily as widely known. Uh, he most recently was working on Power Rangers as a villain, but he has been picked up by Powerhouse Comic Con, which is from our friends at California Republic Comic Con. Ooh. Vernon Wells, uh, that was a massive pop. That the main thing that you would know him from was off some steam, Bennett. He is Bennett from Commando. Nice. He's the Australian mercenary who turns on yeah. and Arnold and them. Yeah, I love some steam. Yeah, yeah, little Steve Bennett. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's he's he's gonna be there. He's not there anymore. Lost Doctor Malcolm. We got Bennett. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, so that about wraps it up for the news. Yay! You guys should rejoice. <laughs> yeah, There's well, much rejoicing. There's rounds. Hey, of I'm still at this truck stop. Why haven't you picked me? He went to the truck stop. Dude. God, no, the monkey went to the truck stop. You know what happens there? Mm -hmm. Bananas. Yep, yeah, a lot of bananas. Apparently, some stuff is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. -A -A <coughs> anyway. This is good, your responsibility, man. For a good man. This five, is your responsibility. Oh, yeah. no. Not, not that not black label. He's supposed to call so, 8675309. In every title match contract, there is what we call... I just forgot the term. Rematch clause. Rematch clause. Apparently in that's that what clause, going on. I'm this just here for fun. champion... The former champ. This champion ah. must defend her title against the former champion in a rematch. That's a lot of tongue. Dang right, this. That's what. <laughs> can I do that joke on Twitch? If <laughs> we just did, if the Azorian one regains the title, Amy does not get a rematch clause. She must go back into the pool right. of like two people and fight her way up to become the number one contender. But we also have the dark horse. 
sneaking around. The junior bacon cheeseburger deputy man. He got really mad. Yeah, he's he, he's he's ready for his chance. I like at cheeseburgers. The world title. I love cheeseburgers. So in classic fashion, we will have. Trivia. Trivia. This is going to be some Marvel trivia, specifically with a little bit of a movie and also comic. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Twist. Ooh, with a twist. T W E S T. Apparently, when you turn that knob, you twisted a couple other things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I will give you each a question. There is no stealing. There is no time limit. Unless you take too long, then I get really upset. Then I give you a time. Do I limit. get an ask the audience? You do not get an ask the audience. That would defeat the purpose. I'm just waiting for someone to shake their head. So. <laughs> Uh, as the champion, uh-huh. Amy gets to go first. Yeah, I know. Oh, I do? Yeah, I don't remember if that's the way I've always it done is. it. Okay, cool. So, Amy, we're going to give you a movie question. Aww. Are you ready? Never. <laughs> Caddyshack? No idea? No? How long did Tony, Tony Stark, jokingly say it took him to cook pepper pots her in-flight meal. Three hours. Three hours is correct. Yes, correct. Wow. I am in two. Boom. Amy on the board with one. Do you, have, do you give her my favorite Marvel guy as the first question? That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll try not to do the deadpan face, but would you like me to get really excited? We're like, ah! <laughs> Steve's question. After what was breaking, John Favreau wearing when he directed them? No. After <laughs> breaking into a stranger's barn, oh, Tony Stark is held at gunpoint by what type of gun? <laughs> oh, barn. I gave it, yeah, to you from that your favorite re- character. That is really from good. From Iron idea. Man 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie that started this podcast. Oh, yeah, it's a guy. Potato gun. It is a potato gun. Yeah. The kid is so cute. Mm-hmm. The potato you know how I know? The room Because we're connected. To what? No, it's, it's when he leaves the kid. He ditches him. Oh, that's right. Because we're connected. Did you guys post on Facebook that we're live, by the way? Josh, I, I, what, you guys have one job. <laughs> hey, Facebook Live! <laughs> Amy. Yo. Share it after the play. Oh, that was, that's a stupid question. I'm not going to do that one. Um, what is Steve Rogers think? No, nope, that one's dumb, too. <laughs> wow. Hang on, sorry. It's a gift she gave you, too. Come on. What alias does Tony Stark use with his new friend Harley in Iron Man 3? <laughs> I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. Lots of dead time. Dead time is great for radio. Oh, sorry. Did you want me to sing that? I'm like, mm, maybe I, it could be that. Oh, why didn't I, I download the I Jeopardy know? theme? Oh. I'm an idiot. I'm that. just. I think I know. I, think, okay. um, I just want to say Steve Rogers. That is that incorrect. Yep. Can, I, can I steal? You can't no, steal, you're not but to steal. you can know what it is. Yeah. Yes. The mechanic. The mechanic, yes. Oh, that's right. Yes. All right. Amy won. Steve's won. Iron Man 3 is always on FX. Take a lead. I thought you said take a leak. I did. <laughs> uh, okay. You guys can see the answers if you have really good eyes. <laughs> We might be done with the... Yeah, okay. We're going to be done with the Why Tony Stark question. Them? A lot of Starks. Um, That's a stark difference in ah! questions from last time. Oh, jokes. <laughs> what villain said you could have the power of the gods? Aww. What villain said... This is throughout the whole Marvel. There it is. Thanks. This isn't just Iron Man, right? This is, no, this is okay. the Marvel Universe. You know, the power of the gods. Ooh. Yeah, Loki? No, mm. if I do. If I'd done the accent, you probably would have gotten it. Mm. You could have the power of the god. Oh, Red yes, Skull! Yes, Red Skull. So we are all tied up at First one adventure. and one. Who? This is a it's a, it's a tough baseball yeah, game. It's a barn burner. Tough baseball game. Third inning. Third inning. Barnes. Why are they all yellow? Uh, yellow or purple? Ooh. But you've only picked yellow. Which? No, I've picked purple. Oh, there's two. Things. Which villain said? To build a really better world sometimes mean having to tear the old one down. Uh, mm, not that one. Can I get it one more time? Which villain said? I just want to read it. To build a really better world sometimes means having to tear the old one down. Grammatically, it just doesn't make it weird. Uh, Zemo. It's not Zemo. Zemo. 
Do you have uh, an idea? Was it? Uh, wow. Is it Redford's character? In Alexander Pierce. It is Redford. Winter Soldier. Man, you guys are. I'm like, it's not Ultron. Hey, oh, Redford's character. Also, hey, Manderson, time... you're not allowed to guess these in the chat room, you dumbass. <laughs> he said Redford. <laughs> they said Redford. <laughs> Good thing there's a delay on Twitch. <laughs> What, what what do you say, chat room? Yeah, yeah, I know he, he couldn't be here at his <laughs> wife's birthday dinner or something. What? She's also an Amy, so happy birthday, Amy! <coughs> Bless you, Stevs. Yeah. What does Betty offer to sell so that she and Bruce Banner can go on the run? Oh, uh, oh god, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what appropriate is from the audience. I love it. They can't see it, but it's we true. can. It's so good. TOS. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, plasma? Uh, it's yeah. her necklace. The necklace! <laughs> what, did you, what did you What did you say? She shimmy shimmy shake shake. Oh, what? Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> shimmy shimmy shake shake. We're tied at one. This is the least impressive trivia contest you guys have I, ever had. The funny had. thing is, I'm vaguely on the cinema, so <laughs> that's the kind of word the gift. And I'm so only tied. Here, Amy. Alexander Pierce. Nick Fury is my friend. I want to fight him and kill him. True or false? In the Secret War, Nick Fury and a team attempt to overthrow the government of Latveria. Now we've gone comics. You mean Latvia? Latveria. Latveria, true. Yeah, Latvia. It is true. Latvia is a real country. Latveria is the fake country. Yes. Sorry, Latvia. So we get two for Amy. Schnevs. Yeah. We're going to get a comic question. You can do this. I believe in you. Big money, no whammy. <laughs> what was the first human alter ego of the thunder god Thor? The first human alter ego? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, because the thing is, because this could be a movie thing. If he thought about it. But yeah. I don't know if he will. Because in high school, he was all looks and muscles. Isn't know? that how he's seducing the chief? That's how he seduces everyone. Me or Thor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of both. Because hmm. hmm. this, per- this person has a, a, a very interesting opening he's, he's a, title. A, don't try to give it to him. You're, <laughs> you're winning. What is the first I human alter ego of the Thunder God Thor? The funny thing was, I only remembered the title. Like <laughs> initially, the guys did. The dream, the man of the diner. Or Israeli on FX. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. Dude, it's, uh, Bill. No, it is Dr. Donald Blake. Donald Blake. Yeah, remember it's on the ex boyfriend? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm also offended because I'm not a Dr. Barry. The the coffee coffee mark. Another, please. I'm disappointing you. Amy, going back to the movies. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Chat that. says, oh, David, great tea. No, that's Manderson. He doesn't. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I tried. I blame you, FX. Uh, according to Pepper, what not sexy thing does Tony do at his birthday party? Which birthday party? <laughs> that, that I know. That I yeah, know. do you know that one? That yeah, interesting. Yeah. Dory, we'll get a movie question next. <laughs> okay. Um, not sexy thing. Yeah. First thing that came to mind was singing, but that's not it. Nope. Is that is that it? Your answer? What is it? What he, is it? he peed in the yeah. suit. <laughs> People ask me how I pee in the suit, and I answer with him just like that. <laughs> oh, that's is that two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, okay. I was shoot. like, "There's more than one birthday party." Posted. You peed in the suit. There's no filtration system. It's fine. You can drink it. It's okay. Hey, Stevs. Yeah. Where does the first extremist or extremist explosion on U.S. soil occur? Oh, oh, uh, uh, um. Chinese Roman Theater in Hollywood. Yeah, that is correct. Good the Chinese job. Theater. Blows up Happy. Happy's from the coma. Uh, He's uh, not happy. Iron Man 3. Why is, why is Man- Manderson, you're in the group. Don't text me when you're in the chat, you, you dingus. <laughs> He's sliding away into the chat. God. <laughs> You'll see a banner flying behind us all the time. <laughs> what the heck? As long as he brings me cheeseburger. All right. We're, wrapped, we're, we're tied at two, and I, I can't go on much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Shield. <laughs> Tell me how you have the answer. Tom Holland. <laughs> oh, there Tom we go. Holland. <laughs> uh, Amy, who played Volstag in Thor and Thor: The Dark World? Hint: 
he was also the Punisher. Yes. <laughs> Not Dolph Lundgren, though. <laughs> so many hints. <laughs> what are you doing? You know, you know this one? Yeah. Yeah. He was also in the uh, Mega State. So <laughs> Sorry. What was the question? <laughs> <clears throat> Who, who played Volstag in Thor and Thor the Dark World? He was also the Punisher, and it's not Dolph Lundgren. He had a small part in Ragnarok. Oh, I thought it was Yeah, he, was, he, just, he just died. Mm -hmm. All I keep thinking of is Carl Urban, and that's not right. And I know it's not right. Yes. Well, Steve's, is it Ray, uh, Ray Stevenson? Ray Stevenson. Yeah. Obviously, you don't get the points, but I'm really proud of you. He was also in Rome, HBO's series back in the day. Uh, which you, know, you know a lot of information. <laughs> Hence why we I got in this one. This huh? one. That, that one too. Oh. That's right. 2011. All I could think of is Carl <coughs> Urban. Huh? G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Oh, no, it Joe. Uh, it's me. It's me. Let's see. No. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Colby. Col Colby. Colby Sm well, Smolders. Oh. Huh. Robin Sherbatsky yeah. plays <laughs> which shield agent? Maria Hill. Yes, that is correct. I always call Robin, too. Always call Robin. And we are... Oh, no, no, no. With error. We are lead. <laughs> I had E points, now I have three. I feel like... <laughs> My wife is now in the chat saying she thinks she could beat both of you. Come, please. So We are dying. Step up to two? the streets. Oh, you hold the baby. He's going to step up to the streets, which means we get trampolines. Amy, comic question coming at you. Dang it. What was the name of the team led by Black Widow that also included Hercules, Ghost Rider, Angel, and Iceman? Champions? That is correct. The tied champions. And we are tied back I made up a comic book. at three. I bought this other set specifically so we had a chance. I don't know where the action how came from. You. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm really say sorry, the public. Do you know how storylines work? You keep it to yourself. Yes. <laughs> What government agent oh. slows his aging process by taking the infinity formula? It's delicious. Apparently, Madison wants to text and answers. With government the, with agent Dayberry. slows his aging by taking the infinity formula. Yeah. This is not cinematic. This is, no. this is cinematic. No, it's not. It's comic. It's not comic. It's comic. Government agent. Wait. Let's see the agent at the time. No. He knows his mutation. He knows his mutation. <laughs> He's to flip this table. Ray Stevenson. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Hill. Uh, Agent 13. Clark Craig. Agent Colson. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is Tahiti. Nice. Stubbs, I answer. Agent Carter. It is not. It Nick is Fury. Nick Fury. He took the he took yeah, the yeah. Infinity Form. Well, I mean, not. I think not, he's not dead. Not black Nick Fury. Wink. Oh, David Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff, Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah. Not, not snakes on a plane. No, Nick Fury. I want these snakes. Snakes. Back off oh, this to the movies. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. All right, it's coming back. I'm getting the comic question. She's getting the movie question. <laughs> Amy, <laughs> what does Tony Stark tell General Ross he is putting together? <laughs> Specialty. That is correct. <laughs> and Amy takes the lead. Oh, the uh, end credit scene of Incredible Hulk. <laughs> you guys are just really like unhappy right now. Like I feel like this isn't. We could just open it to them, this and they could divide into teams, and we could do this this way. Team Amy, Team Steve. It could. It'd be fun. Have it's our own Civil War. <laughs> Does Steps? that make me Captain Marvel? Be in an airport. Yeah. Heck yes, dude. Uh, according to Tony Jay Stark, Batman. what is Phil Coulson's first name? Agent, yes. Agent is correct. <laughs> they call him Phil. It's yeah, freaking agent. It's the first thing. All right. Oh, donuts. Avengers. No, I want donuts. Avengers. No, all I want is donuts, dude. <laughs> no, uh, I don't like taking risks for being handed things. Amy, what does Baron Strucker, Von Strucker? have that the Avengers are after? Oh, shoot. Did you work with Dr. Frankenstein? No. Uh... Mm -hmm. Great knockers you have. Okay. I want to say the Tesseract. That's it. I can see it. No, this is one. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> Why do you look like a, like Lucas the Spider? I, I think I know what it is. Look like Lucas the Spider. Um. And you must answer correctly to stay in the competition. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Well, no, no, this isn't for the win. But I'm saying I'm going to give him the next question. If he gets the next question right, then you're you're done. It's first to five. 
Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that would have been really good to That's know. That's how it's always done. I don't know. I didn't remember that. Okay. Uh, so Avengers are after Scarecrow. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just going to go with Jethrax. It is incorrect. Yeah. It was Loki's Loki scepter. scepter. Which contains the, the Mind Tesseract. Stone, not the Tesseract, you dinguses. The Scarlet Witch puts Tony in this. He sees what's coming, and Tony's like, oh, my God. And he gets the, the, the Iron Man hand and grabs the scepter. And the scepter. And Avengers, it's Age of Ultron. No, it is not. No, no it see, is I not. Have, I have a contestant. It is I've got, not. Got Terry you want me to no. Google it? You want me to Google it? Because that? literally, like to know. he breaks the scepter open and puts the mind gem into vision. Tesseract is unrelated because the Tesseract. Square. It's over. It's back in. Uh, it's with the. It's with the Guardians. I just like to check. Right. The tesseract. Not that I'm like. <laughs> with the, uh, not that I'm like. Are you contesting I'm this? No, because I just actually want to know. Because you're both wrong. Isn't the Tesseract well, with the Collector? I just want to know. Isn't the Collector in the Tesseract? No. no. It's in. It wasn't Asgard. Uh, now, 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 Loki has it. Loki has it now. That's right. And it's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It has the Mind Stone. It reveals that the process that has the Mind Stone inside. The Tesseract is not the Mind Stone. The Tesseract, tesseract is, contains the Mind Stone. No, it doesn't. Holy, what? <laughs> Good thing we're doing this now before you go see the movies and you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Terry's just like, no. Look, it's a square. No. It's a square. No, that, that's, that's an actual Tesseract. That's a Tesseract. Uh, it's a mathematical marble. There we go. Tesseract, marble. Tesseract, still square. Still square. It's the Cosmic Cube. Cube. It is the Cosmic Cube. It is an Infinity Stone. It is not the Mind Stone. It's also called the Space Stone. There we go. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Also, Sergeant Squiggles is mad. The Chitauri Scepter, occasionally Sorry, referred to as Loki Scepter, is a staff weapon that serves the original containment vessel with mine. Thank you, Sergeant Squiggles. Thank you. We could have just saved all that time if I just read that. I but believe you guys wouldn't have believed me because I still had to Google it. I actually just wanted to know. Should we give him a comic book question? I d no, <laughs> you, you failed a movie question. <laughs> so the Azorian one gets a movie question. It's been even. Okay, hang on. Please, hang maybe on. I know. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Hang on. I've seen some only one time. I've seen others Where 25 is there, times. Thanks didn't, he, didn't you miss that? Somebody missed that on one of the last times. Stark Industries. Did, Here we go. Did Here we go. It's relevant. Stark oh, Industries. Oh, baby Jesus. Okay. According to Baron Schrucker. Okay. Oh, it's all Schrucker. What is this an age of? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> the, that be the, I know dude, who Baron Stryker is. Miles wants it. Heart he's in. Miles wants it. Miles wants it. Jay wants it. Oh this my is God, an I'm age of age of. <laughs> age of guts. Heroes. Age of miracles. Oh, it's not heroes. God, we have to do oh, this again. Twins, All the right, twins with the miracles. Wait, the twins you just with did the miracles. two. Of, you did two of the movie. Yeah, Scarlet Witch he's, and the, the he's, he's yeah. go faster. They go faster? <laughs> or you mean they're less shame? <laughs> Amy, the one according to Odin, oh, okay. <laughs> who will bring order to the nine realms? To the wind. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Thor, but it's not Thor. It is Thor. She okay. was, I, she's like, I knew she had it. <laughs> I wanted to go. I really wanted to go. Um, the mom, Brunhilda. The winner it. of the match. Still. And still. Capeless Crusaders <laughs> Trivia Federation Champion, that Amelia Nudag. I'm going to stop doing trivia from now on. You guys are here. So, Sergeant Squiggle says it's the age of Aquarius, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> He's wrong, too. The more you know. <laughs> Twins were miracles. Right. Not relevant anymore. See, chat is angry. Also, yeah. did we also yeah. notice that comic books I was just okay with? Like, yeah. You did okay. You both you both weren't really that impressive. We're kind of tired. Side note, in about three weeks, it's going to be Ready Player One. And right now on South by Southwest, they have a giant VR experience going on. I go back I'm really excited. I got to go, go back down the wrong now. My avatar has been killed, and I have to start over. Oh, very nice. He's reading. I think you're the last one except for Manderson. Manderson hasn't read it. I'm going to take out Manderson's kneecaps, though. He won't be able to do you're it. You're still reading it? Kurt finished it. So. All right, here's my plan. Manderson's next. He's first contender. Yeah. No, yeah. not necessarily. No, no. Uh, now, Amy. Uh, wait. No, yeah. No, you you and you. Got take two. Action. You lost your rematch clause. Yes. Way to suck. I know. Uh, so I now. Wait, does not I actually get to take this home this time? No, I mean, it's still. I mean, kayfabe, you have the belt. That's my magic. But it's actually it's my his belt. belt. Come on, Amy. Don't you know how this works? I don't. 
<laughs> you were supposed to make me see, a list. No, see, I was see, supposed here's, to learn here's about. What I was supposed to learn about in wrestling. the nineties. I was supposed to learn about belts. I was supposed to learn about matches. In the nineties, don't do that. The face. You were not in Andre the, the Giant. Do not put the hand over my face. Are the rocks dead? They're probably dead. Or sure, they be dead. Anyway. So in the 90s, there was a 2020 special where basically they revealed that professional wrestling was fake to the world. Uh, scripted, so, scripted. Scripted. So kayfabe. Uh, kayfabe is uh, a term referring to keeping it uh, realistic. Um, and if someone believes something is real, then it is kayfabe. Your lady says I should watch Total Divas. That is how I will live. And I shall. That one works too. Also, I'm yeah. going to take a picture and gloat because I need this woman on Instagram. Go for it. You already did that once. This one's uh, better. I didn't get to smile, but whatever. <laughs> you did the smiley face. Shut up. Any, that's oh, a smile. All angry. That's not a smile. This is great. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is so yes, the rails on a you crazy get train. to keep the belt. You get to take the belt home because yeah. it actually physically belongs to you. You're just not the champion. Okay. So yeah, now you have to beat Manderson for the In number D &D. one contender. Does it matter if it's like if he's like if he competes with me or if I like take out his kneecaps in the back and he can't compete? That he's works too. Cheeseburger. Yeah, exactly. He's Easy to take him out. Don't like a twig. Like a twig. I'm never going to be able to play D and D with these guys. Say so, Manderson. Sergeant Squiggles. Say I apologize. So. Wrestling <laughs> is fake and um, scripted. Uh, wrestling is scripted. Thank you. A false and I'm so not going to talk about any. Um, Holidays or mystical creatures. Make them earn it back Why and not? pay for it. Because there's children in the chat and they don't need to know the truth of the world. It's a terrible place. Come, oh, someone says, Come at me, bro. There's fighting. There's that's, fighting that's, in the chat. That's Manderson. Manderson. I was yeah. trying to create drama. You're terrible. <laughs> what's that from? What is that from? It's got home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The bad, the bad guy. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. It's professional more wrestling. wrestling. More wrestling. More wrestling. Again, here's, here's the thing. You guys can encourage them to do the job that they were originally assigned to, i.e., Amy said she wants to learn about wrestling. No wrestling has she been learned of. Because there is a list, and every day I add more matches to that list, and every day it becomes more attainable for this course to ever actually happen. And it's just. We also have all Apple devices. You can just shoot it in like a note to me, and I can take that and break it down into chunks and build myself into like entire semesters worth of wrestling. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, we should probably do that. Too. <laughs> uh, uh, Manderson, tell me, Steve's, do you bleed? Wait, but he's, he's, he's Superman. He, he like, well, okay, he's not Superman. I'm trying to spend he's five minutes. No, no, but you guys really need to like just read the chat some of this because it's weird. No, don't read the chat because then that drags down the internet because you're all on Twitch simultaneously, sure. and then the then the stream we breaks have down. Drop frame. <laughs> this is going off the rails on a crazy train just because I won. And going now I can't off do it. the rails on a crazy train. Somebody clip that. <laughs> Stop telling people what to do. Anyway, that is about going to wrap it up for this week's episode of The Capeless Crusaders live from Empire's Comics Vault. Hey! There's no hair. Yay for Ben. Thanks, Ben, for having us back again. Pages, Any man. of your comic needs, walk on down here. Uh, Plus, bike. Bike to. Cover bike. Uh, what is the address? 1120. 1120. Fulton Avenue. Fulton Avenue. Sacramento. Sweet. Sweet Sweet K, Sacramento, Sweet California, California. Yeah. somewhere or another, another in the North North yeah. Come down, get some comic books, talk to Ben, play with the pugs. That's all fantastic. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you're not one of the people already following us, which I don't, it seems like most of you already do. Anyway, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash the Cables Crusaders. Say you don't want to type all that in. You just want to go to one stop shop for anything related to the Cables Crusaders. You can go to the Cables Crusaders .com, which again, if you're watching on video, this makes sense. The audience is looking at me like I'm insane. It's so literally over my head, like all of the Cables Crusaders .com, your home for anything related. We have blogs yeah. from this guy. We're going to soon have blogs from the junior deputy not cheeseburger. Me. We have our episodes. If you want to be on, we can. We have our Hall of Heroes. A recent addition to the website. The Hall of Heroes is where we uh, immortalize those who have given us money. So if you go to Patreon... Straight up, you can get whatever picture you like, but your, your parts have to be covered. That no, is our one... No, there's no pictures. It's just things. Oh, I thought we were doing It's pictures. only $2 a month. We're not going to take pictures of people and put it on the website. That's I just me. That would be fun. If me. they so pay if more... baby gifts? If they donate to us on the channel, then we will add them and I will make busts of them. In the Hall of Heroes. So, so it's going to basically be like... So if you go to oh, Patreon, yes, patreon.com slash the you can support us by pledging $2 a month, a measly $2 a month. That's like 40 something cents a day. Are you not even? That's, that's enough to get me a hamburger no, that's or like a not cheeseburger. Even. How many McDonald's? cents a day is that? Zero, zero. Anyway, if you do give us like money, then you keep like 40 doing cents. Yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yes, so, uh, and if you, again, if, you, if patreon.com slash the Crusaders is a mouthful, go to the Cables Crusaders. 
com, where you can check us out and do everything there. And seven? Seven cents a day. I don't know what I was thinking How about. How many crusaders were you feeding seven, seven cents a seven day? Seven cents a day. You can feed day. this poor Portuguese boy Maybe a whole linguiça. A whole linguiça? A whole linguiça. A whole linguiça. <laughs> You're shoving a whole don't. in his mouth? It's not a wiener. It's a linguiça. Hey, we'll get us more memberships and then. Woo! Linguiça it is. I know who that one is. Sergeant Squiggles, I apologize <laughs> that we didn't have the notification sound. It's because I'm on the mobile setup and I did not uh, bring any of that over. Man, I'll play one for you next time, though. You know when we'll play for you on Sergeant Squiggles? We will play these sub sounds on Monday night because we're going to be doing this again Monday night. Monday but night. we're not going to be talking as much about comic books. We're going to be playing a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh. Literally, that's no joke. They're, they're going in. And I'm, and I'm hyped because yes, no, what's going I've on. never played it. Yes. We have no bards. God help us all. That would be great. Yeah, he's gonna tip me off. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna kill some dragons. Uh, so, um, just so you, it's, it's, it's not just any Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, our homeboy Manderson, homeboy, the un, the seedy underbelly D and D. He actually took our favorite comic book characters <coughs> and created D and D versions of them. So we will actually be playing as some of our favorite superheroes. I'm playing as like a neutral, a lawful good. This is so hard. I'm. You're uh, playing as Wonder Woman. Yeah. I'm not lawful good. I'm. You're Wonder Woman. Rice Word. Yep. Yeah, he's yeah. Batman. I'm Swamp Thing. Um, Curtis is Red Hood. Uh, Tom is Flash. Flash. That's, That's who it was. So, yeah. Doctor Doom. So drop a follow. Hang out with <laughs> us when we play Dungeons and Dragons on Monday night. Same Crusader channel. Same mm -hmm. Crusader time. Sergeant Squiggles. I apologize. We will get the fancy sounds on here. Love you. My name is David Barry at Dr Barry on varying social media platforms. I feel like I have one of those burps that's just coming up, but it's not actually going to happen. It's just going to build. Wait. Oh, to my left, I have. Oh, I'm the left, aren't I? Yes. Hey, I'm still rating champion by some type of mysterious fluke because apparently I don't pay attention to movies. This is Amy. You can find me at iJaneURobot on varying social media. And yeah, the guy over there that's going to pout for most of the evening until he gets to put this in his car and drive away and go, ha, 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 ha. I'm the usual one, Anthony Steves. <laughs> we live in an age of miracles. Do we? Are you sure about that? Yeah? Are you guys sure about that? Anyway. I win. God. Anyway, for the Capeless Crusaders. Good night. Good night. <laughs>